Hello my friends, bonjour, mbote, it's the same, jumbo, hola, ketu, to all my friends, moyo, to all my friends around the world, welcome back to my channel, my name is Louise, aka Auntie Lou, and today friends, oh, I'm excited! I'm excited, I'm excited. So, as you can see, as you can see from what I am wearing, today I decided to go through my suitcase, which I have not touched for years. You know one of those suitcases that you have up, like on top of your, of your wardrobe and you hardly you can't reach there so therefore you can't really check anything that's in there well today I made my mind up and I said nope I'm gonna see what is in there and look look I found all this beautiful liputa all this beautiful African print dresses and I thought hey why not like I haven't worn this for years and I decided to do my first try on whole Wi-Fi you call it these days you know so aujourd'hui I'm going to be a model <laughs> and show you all well not all there was just so many uh, so I couldn't choose all of them to do I decided to I selected a few I got like maybe five or six depending how how I'll be able to go on with the changing and showing everything. It would depend if I'll be able to show you the selected um, dresses that I have today. So for example, this dress, oh my gosh, I remember it so clearly. This dress was made in 2009. So let me go back a little bit, see if you can see. long it's like it's like a wedding dress I don't know if you can see it long like a wedding dress and yes this is what I wore on my traditional wedding day so this is what I wore jour alibala nanga this is what I came downstairs with came down like a princess like I was coming down to this song you know you are my African queen, girl of my dreams. I was like, yeah. <laughs> this is this is what I had on. This is my dress. This is my. It was made in 2009 by a Nigerian lady, who by that time I think this is my first my first designer dress that I actually went to a shop and somebody actually designed this for me like to my style to my she took measurement and everything this is it this is my first first liputa dress that was made for me before then i only had one one liputa dress which <laughs> i will show you friends i will show you i'm gonna show you that liputa dress it was made for me when i was 13 years old I'm gonna tell you the story when I put on the dress. But this is the first dress that I had made, that I had made, like, to my style, to my fitting, that I actually went into the shop, I bought the material, selected the, the style, and it, it was made for me. So, ooh, yes, I'm surprised it still fits me, like 12 years, you know, 12 years later, and, it still fits it's a bit tight here now it's a little bit tight but hey you know I've had three kids so yeah I mean this is a um, perfect dress like an evening wear you know you can wear it with the belt or you can take the belt off you know like right now it's got the belt and you can take the belt off oh there you go take the belt off and it still has the same effect you see it still has same effect still beautiful real nicely fitted and yeah I love it and um, 
obviously we're still in lockdown and nowhere to go so i decided you know what let me just become a mother for the day why not the auntie is gonna be a mother for today hey. it's so it's like spacious it's open so yeah it's my first dress that i had made for me 2009 and it still fits so Yes, a thumbs up. Hey, we are off to Ghana today. This outfit is from Ghana, but it was made here. This material is called a kente so it is saying it is saying it is saying aquaba to my african to my Ghanaian brothers and sisters and in-laws and um yeah to everybody it is saying it is saying today i'm representing you this is it this is my beautiful african um, kente from ghana and I made this here in London from um, the, the auntie that made it for me. Her name is Mama Ange. So she made this here for me. I was, um, the time I made this, I was a little bit big. <laughs> I kind of, um, I think it was in 2010. I made this one in 2010, so you can see it's a bit spacious. There's quite a lot of space now, you know, like. But then again, I don't really like tight, tight clothes. So this is fine. I can wear it today. I've, I've actually worn it in different, different occasions. I've gone with it to weddings. I've gone with it to just party, you know. And yeah, but I haven't worn it for a while. It's been in my suitcase. We have not gone anywhere for a while. So you, yeah. why do you like it? So I look like a butterfly. I'm flying up like a, like a butterfly. So, Mama Ange, thank you, merci, Mama. You made my dress. So it's like um, it's like a skirt. So I've got a skirt. This is a skirt underneath. I have a skirt here, and this is like um, you can't wear it by itself. So you have to definitely have like something underneath. So you can wear it with um jeans or leggings you know you can wear it with jeans or leggings and um yeah this is it this is it sorry about that i think that was my kids closing the door maybe i'm disturbing them with my with my talking but oh well mommy's having um her moment mommy's having her moment of going through her old clothes so yeah this is my dress it's another dress from Mama Ange. Mama Ange is from Congo and she was able to sort this out for me. What do you think of this one guys? <laughs> Let me know. Do you love my African? Do you like my um, my Kente dress? Hmm? My Ghanaian brothers and sisters, do you like it? My other African countries, do you like the Liputa? This is in Lingala we call the African print. We call it Liputa. So, Rob Nangaya Liputa, material poesa a kente, beauty Ghana, material is a from Ghana, and salam awa, and fat on Tina Biso Congolese, come on in Mama Ange. So, mwah, merci Mama Ange. <laughs> Next dress coming up. I apologize friends, so this dress was made in 2019. Yay. So up next, this is my summer dress. This dress came in handy and I think this is like um, the newest dress I have, one of the newest dress I have. And this was made in 2009 by my friend called Brunel and Brunel lives in Congo. So in 2009, I went to Congo and she took her time to make this beautiful dress for me. It's so spacious and it's got really beautiful colors. 
since I haven't seen this kind of print here, I looked away because everybody loves it every time I wear it. They're like, oh, where did you get the material from? I said, I got it from Congo, baby. This is made in Congo by a Congolese girl doing her thing. Yeah, so yes, it's really free. This will be perfect for a pregnant lady. You need space, you can breathe, you can do anything with it. It's so spacious and it's just like, I feel like a butterfly. It's really light and, you know, I wore, um, I put this on a few times when I was in Congo and it was so nice. I could just feel the breeze just going through me. Like, it was so nice. It's like, mu pepe zokota and yeah. I feel like a butterfly, like a flying, <laughs> flying away like a butterfly, beautifully made, made in Congo summer dress. I was wearing it almost every day during the summer and you know I love myself some, um, I love me some, some headscarf so most of my outfit for people who know me. <laughs> usually come with a headscarf I love a little headscarf and um, I try sometimes to have some matching shoes but in this occasion no I didn't get um, matching shoes with my dress but yeah nevertheless it's a beautiful dress I love it I wear it literally in the summer yeah this is my go-to dress you just ready ready to go ready 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 can you see I'm gonna go all the way to the back so you can see it. Uh, yeah. This is my African moment dress, you know, my African queen dress. I hope you're loving it the same way as I love it. And um, take this down, you know. Zwango, and then stuff start, start flying away like a butterfly. <laughs> It's beautiful, like you know. Look, you can wear it this way, or you can take the hands down and just do shoulders. Um, yes, beautiful, whichever way you want to wear it. You can do one hand in, one hand out. It's got elastic. Oh, it is beautiful. I love it. I love the dress, I love the colors, and um, yeah. If it's um, still up, it's nice, nice, nice. If you know how to do clothes, oh, you are blessed. It's a beautiful gift. I would love to, you know, learn how to do it. So maybe after the lockdown, I might go into a course and learn how to start doing this because I love wearing it. This is it. I'm a Liputa girl. I love wearing my African attires. I love wearing the African fashion. So it's neither these kind of stuff or you see me jeans and you know t-shirt or tracksuit. I don't have anything else. <laughs> Those are like most comfortable areas that I like to go to. Liputa yeah. <laughs> I'll come and share this with you. 2009 made in Congo by Brunel. Merci Brunel. Merci Chibi. <laughs> is my other pregnancy dress <laughs> this was my go-to dress when I was pregnant with both Derek and Vanessa I used to just love this dress love it love it love it it's really spacious and obviously I haven't worn it for years <laughs> so I think the last time I, I had this on probably 2010 after giving birth to Vanessa so um, yeah it, it probably then you know I had this on it was my go-to pregnancy dress and I love it as again really spacious it's got elastic this was also made here I can't remember I can't remember the person who made this for me it's been so long I really can't remember but it was one of those dresses that you wouldn't think that I would wear it every day or like I would love it this much. I when I saw it, when you first see it, 
you just think, oh, it's anyhow, anything, you know, it's like your everyday kind of dress box. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. My colours, it's got beautiful colours. Really, really beautiful design. Yeah, this is um my album. This this was so good like when I was pregnant. It's so spacious as you can see. Like it's got this elastic here as well. So it's got um, an elastic there as well. You see? So you can bring it down, you can bring it up like today if you want, you know. But I like it like this. Ooh, sorry. Sorry. I need to push you. So yeah, this is it. What do you think boys? Do you like this style? Today I'm just in the mood for being an African queen. You also have some African material dresses. Please do come and share some pictures, you know present your colors enjoy them enjoy the material enjoy the print you know this is us this is part of us part of um, our culture when you go when i go africa when i go congo you see my mama bazoda taliputa i'm still trying to learn how to do the the liputa and put it this way um i haven't learned that one yet i've tried a few times and uh, i sit down like i think it's done and by the time I stand up, it's on the floor. So <laughs> I'm still learning how to wear the tuliputa. Oh my goodness. Oh, when I'm gonna master that, I'll come and be like a papa mama. I'm gonna be like, you know, to my family who keep on telling me, Luis, cola, or come here, mama deja, cola. So basically they keep on telling me, grow up, Luis, you are not a mom. You need to grow up and stop, you know, always um acting like a like a child <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> i mean yes naza mama but come on naza mama is jen you know naza mama is jen so i can't i can't really be doing the the truly puta style yet okay you know one long one short it looks really nice Papa Mama, but I don't think I'm in that age yet to start wearing two liputa. For now, just looking the kind of my dress, I'll just be with dresses and skirts. <laughs> that's the next one that's coming up next. <laughs> my Alpha Alpha dresses, hmm? you will love them. Those saucy, saucy dresses with liputa coming up, but it will be coming up. Let me know if you want to see them. Hey, <laughs> so yeah. This is it, Liputa. So easy to go. Next one. Hello, my family. This one. <laughs> this is the dress that was made for me when I was 13 and look at this I looked like a nun like you know holding my my holy bible this dress I kept it every house I've gone I've always put in my suitcase because this is the uniform that we used that my family used for my grandma so when we were doing Matanga, you know, when we had my grandma's funeral, so the celebration of her life, Tanto Zupanza Matanga, Enipong O Leto Lasaki. And friends, I was 13. Nazaki na 13 ans. Tango, Lusalaki, Enipong O. And can you believe it? That like, this dress still fits me now. So I had no control over this. I did not choose this style. I don't even know who made it. This dress was handed to me. It was handed to me and I just had to put it on. So this is it. This is the dress at 13. I was wearing this. They gave me this to wear. Can you see it? I mean, who would make this for a 13 year old? Can you imagine? Like I wasn't that big, but they made me wear this dress. It was made for me. And obviously I've kept it because of the memory of my grandma, you see. 
I kept it because of the memory of my grandma. But I thought, you know, let me try and see if it fits. And oh my gosh, I don't know whether it's me who has lost weight. I don't know whether I've lost weight or or not, or this is just the style of it. But oh gosh, look. Now be me look like my sir. Huh? My sir, my melo. This is me. Now be me donk my sir. Nazo can the glitz like. This is not really my um, my style. I don't think it's um, it's my style. Like I wouldn't today in today's age, I would not choose this as um, as a design for myself, <laughs> and I would not put my daughter in something like this. And she's ten, so imagine by the time she's thirteen, and I tell her wear this, I'm like um, no. So I think I'm gonna do something to it. I'm gonna. Um, I will take it to my to Mama Ange, you know, I'm gonna take it to her and see what she can make for me. Like fix it up, make it a little bit me, you know, turn it into me, like something that I would wear. So yeah. This is it. The robe Yamatanga. This is what I wore. In form Naviso, Yamatanga. This is it, this is what I wore for my grandma's funeral, like uh, when we were doing the, her, the celebration of her life, you know, it was in a big hall and I was just, I was very little, I was young and I can't believe it, how many years later, it fits me, it still fits and it's even big, <laughs> like myself, you see myself, myself, Luisa, oh yeah. C'est ma sœur, uh, ma sœur Antilou. Oui, c'est moi, it's me. Hi. So yeah, don't have much to say. I just feel like this is cruel. Like, how can they just make you wear? But hey, I don't know. Do you guys like this? Do you like this? This? Do you like this style of dress? Like, do you have one in your closet? <laughs> do you have something like this in your closet? Like from 13 years, like when you was 13. And it actually still fits you now. If you do, then I'll be very happy to know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm not the only one who have kept something from when they were a teenager and they actually I got to wear it today. So I've never worn this dress after the Matanga. This is the first time I've tried it on again today. So oh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm emotional, you know, I had a little prayer for my grandma today, I thought about her, you know, Mama Lumbahe, Mama Shinga, love her so much, she was just, oh, beautiful person, beautiful spirit, you know, and because of that, I kept this, um, this dress in the form now, and uh, yeah, <clears throat> so, I hope, let me know, you know, what you think of this dress, guys. <laughs> Do you have one like this in your closet? This is so... Oh, my God. I will not wear something like this today. I wouldn't. I'd... It's just too close up. It's like... It's like... Nothing. It's like nothing there. Like... Come so. It looks exactly like this. Come so. It's like... Come so. Come so. It's a like, uh, you know, same thing comes to come so I don't know, I don't know what to say to this. I'm literally speechless. This is my dress when I was 13. 2000, in the year 2000, that's when she passed away. So we had this Buna Matanga. In the form of this this is it. Friends, this was supposed to be my second dress to get changed into when we went into the hall, but we didn't have time. We didn't have time on that day, so I never got changed. And it's been so basically, I have never ever 
won't distress anywhere. So ever since it was made for me, for my wedding, for my traditional wedding, I have never worn it and it's been in a suitcase. So when I saw it today, I was like, oh my god, my dress, let me see if it still fits. And I was like, because mind you, this dress was made when I didn't have no baby. So my, my belly was really flat, but now, three babies later, and it can still fit, it still fit, but I just feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just, it's not fitting the way it, it first, you know, when I used to, when I tried it on the first time when, you know, obviously, before getting married, so, you know, it's nice to see, like, I paid money for this beautiful dress and the material, again, this material is from Ghana, um, so we came here and this dress was made by a man actually, so tonton and tonton comme ça, qui a fait la robe, and um, yeah, and he was also from Ghana, but unfortunately I never got to wear this dress at all, so now I actually don't know if it's just me, if, if like, I don't know, I mean, Maybe I can open it up a little bit. I'm gonna have to take it to Mama Ange and um, see if she will be able to do something for me, or like make it into a dress, into a skirt or something. I don't know. I'm gonna bring it to her, and she will work her magic and turn it into a very Cinderella. You know, I can do like um, oh, I can do a catwalk for you guys, but. I mean, I don't think I'll be comfortable in this dress, like, if I have to wear this all night, like, today, I won't be so comfortable because I just feel like it's a bit tight, like, here. Even though there's some space here, you can see some space, you can see some space, but uh, it just feels a bit tight, you know? Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm not looking at it from the eyes that I was looking at it before. So I don't know, and also maybe, you know, maybe the belly is a bit, it's a bit, okay, I just figured out what the problem is. I just figured out that I am not into tight dresses. So this is a very, very tight dress. And I feel like, oh my gosh, it's showing, you know, it's showing these bits here, it's showing the belly, you know, this is where the babies were at. So, so it's left me with a little souvenir, you know. And um, overall, it's a nice dress. And um, yeah, let me know, guys, what do you think of my my dress? Do you like it? <laughs> what do you think? It's a bit too tight. Is, is it my style? Do you think I should be making dresses like this? a bit more like I should get maybe one or two like tie fitted dress like this I don't know but anyways today I just felt like being um, an African queen princess whatever you want to <laughs> call me today I felt like being one today with all my beautiful dresses which like this one I, I don't know not really feeling it like that I'm not really 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 feeling it but hey I thought I'm gonna share it you know I'm gonna show this down maybe it might it might um it might you might like it you might like the style of it you know I don't know even what you call this style I don't even know like what to call this style but yeah it's here this is it you know maybe if I bring it up a little bit oh okay oh look Oh, okay, it's much better. Oh, look. Oh, gosh, Auntie Lou's on this woman. <laughs> I made something out of it. Oh, oh my gosh. It, guys, look at this. It looks so much better. So I just pulled it up. I pulled it up a little bit. So now it looks like it's a skirt. Look, it's got some space here, so I pulled it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, maybe the back is not so nicely done, but mm -hmm. it's more comfortable. Mm. 
là, c'est vraiment confortable. C'est plus confortable. C'est plus, c'est plus, c'est pas français. Ah, this time is not. Um, c'est vraiment, c'est vraiment tard pour parler français. Beaucoup de français. Les autres choses vont sortir ici et, et les français c'est très compliqué. So forgive me. <rire> Les, les, les gens qui parlent français, en tout cas, euh, excusez-moi, mais I don't know how to do too much French. Je sais pas, je suis pas française, donc euh, comprenez mon, mon émotion. <laughs> ah! Anyways, anyways, friends, I hope. You have enjoyed my African print haul. You are my African queen, girl of mine. Yes, yes. I hope you have enjoyed um, this video. If you did, if you have, please do give it a little thumbs up. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet. Please do subscribe and I will be bringing you a little bit more of these um, my African print and the stories because every dress or every skirt that I have has a story behind it. So I will bring it up, I will be bringing a bit more I think. Let me see how this one goes because this is my first one. So let me see guys if you like this kind of stuff, if you like uh, to see a bit more of the African print um, haul, then yes, um, until we will bring it to you, you know. <laughs> I'll come and share my lovely, lovely design, my lovely, lovely, whether it's skirt, shorts, whatever, African print. I'll come and share it, as my kids always say, share Caring is sharing. Oh my gosh, I nearly got it wrong. It's sharing is caring. Yeah, so I'm gonna come and share. Because I care about you guys, of course. <laughs> Until next time, friends. Don't forget to leave me a little comment which which um which of the dresses was your favorite and um, hopefully you'll be trying some of this this style you know i hope you've taken some of the ideas and you can go and try and then um, yes until next time friends thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Mwah. Au revoir. bye bye everyone bye